This video will cover the modification of approved journal entries. Now, this request came from the users and was incorporated in the 2022 R1 release. Looking at what it does, it's once you've you've activated approvals on your journals, it's really challenging to change any details of it after the journal has been approved. But you know, thinking of changing a reference number, changing description, GL accounts, departments of cost centers, any of these changes would require a reversal and, and basically creating a new new transaction or new journal that needs to go through authorization again. With some of these new access rights, it's now possible to reclassify the journal. And there are particular details that can be changed through, throughout this process. So if we look at that, if we go into Intact and look at any of our journal entries that's already been approved, so I'll go into GL, view some of my transactions, and you can see any of these examples. If I view that it is a poster journal, and I don't have the edit function or anything that I can do on this journal, basically. When we, we activate this new new feature, so I'll go into my roles, we'll go into, I'm in, on the admin role, so I'll go into subscriptions and on the general ledger, there's now a new section activated there called read class. So you can see for each of those type of journals, there's now a read class or reclassification that can be done. So I'm just going to activate that on journal entries and save that. If I go back to my journal ledger again, go into the journal entries, I'll now have the ability to go into that same journal. And you'll see at the top there, there's now a reclassify button. Now when we activate that option, you can see there's a number of things that can now be done. So we can change the description, we can put in a reference number, add attachments. So there's multiple things on the header level that can be changed. But on the details side, it's also possible to change the location, the department, or even the GL account if needed. Now, apart from that, you can also change the amounts, but this would ultimately need to still uh, be the same total in debits and total in credits. So you can't change the total of the journal, if that makes sense. So always keep it within what was already uh, approved. Just look at a bit of a summary on there. So if we look at the the reclassification process of the journal entries. So the bottom line remains unchanged that we sort of put out there. The date cannot be changed and you can only reclassify within an open period. So those are some of the controls that's in place. And then the things that can be changed, as we mentioned there, account or dimension value, memo descriptions, reference numbers, attachments, add comments, and then we can do the line amounts, but the total debits and total credits needs to remain the same. Thanks for watching.